Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. The hype is building for Team of the Year. We've got our vote that is live. We've got dreams of 98 rated Mbappes, Messi's, Benzema's, and obviously the chase to try to pack the ever so elusive Team of the Year cards in the next two weeks on this game. But that's the thing. It's not here yet. We are still over a week and a half away from Team of the Year, and we just wanted to be here. We are ready with the hype starting to build. But we're inside of a Centurions promo that is still a bit lackluster and with yesterday's very underwhelming content, we are just kind of sitting here and just waiting and underwhelmed and the market is kind of reflecting that because prices really are not going down that much more and we talked about that in yesterday's video, the possibility of that happening and it absolutely is. So what I want to talk about today is that whole situation of an L Centurions content but the hype of team of the year on the horizon but also how EA does this all the time and they know exactly what they are doing. So we have to talk about that and the team of the year market crash, of course, why it kind of like rushed to a halt yesterday after a crazy panic earlier on Monday. Prices have been very stagnant and they might even be for the next couple of days if the content stays this way. We'll talk about that and some SBCs that we have not seen in a while that are making their grand return and potentially with a really big return in the next two weeks. Yes, that is player of the month. Mbappe is nominated for League One. That could be a crazy SBC to craft during Team of the Year. So we'll talk all about that and more in today's video. If you're excited for it, hit the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're new. Let's talk about this whole situation with content on the game because we've been talking all about Team of the Year, right? The market prepar preparation, getting ready for this promo. We had the vote yesterday. I have my vote on my Twitter if you want to check it out. My Twitter link is in the description. Make sure you go and check that out there. It's fun, right, to kind of theorize and think through and put together your Team of the Year 11. This is where all the hype is right now team of the year and everybody's getting excited for it right putting these players in the squads thinking about what team of the year cards we can't wait to pack and all that good stuff but it's still not here yet and again we talked about this plenty of times before but that's what ea wants they want to build the hype for this team of the year promo so much to get you excited for it but at the moment inside of the foot centurions promo it's not that hype, right? It's like you want that team of the year promo so bad to be here right now because you know you have high expectations for it and you kind of know big cards are coming, right? It's kind of the same situation that we had as we were exiting the World Cup content. We had the World Cup team of the tournament promo, which we had a great Di Maria SBC for. But if you guys remember during the World Cup, the content was just very average. And even towards the end of the promo, it was just okay. But what happened right after that? Winter Wild Cards, arguably the best promo of the year. The market rose, and these cards, of course, took the game by storm with some of the best content that we have seen all year this year in this game during Winter Wild Cards. It's kind of the same thing and same scenario that happens all year long ahead of really, really big promos that EA really want to make hype. The week or even two weeks before that, they pull it back a little bit. The content's not that amazing so that you become kind of like just you want that next promo so bad Yet, even though the content at the time is not that good, it gets your expectations up for the next promo. And when EA deliver, it's just hype and it gets a lot of people involved. But it does kind of suck in the meantime when the promo, like this right now with Foot Centurions, all we had yesterday was this SBC for a um, Raul Garcia. We didn't even get the Ryan Kent or the Tavernier that we were hoping. A 21,000 coin SBC, 4,500 down votes. I actually did the SBC. It's just kind of cool still because you got plus 50 pace. But the card is so average. Just a fun, cheap SBC. At least it's cheap, right? But that was our only content yesterday. Coming out of a Winter Wild Cards promo that was insanely hype, it feels like we've just dropped off a cliff in terms of how much hype content there is, right? But again, like we said... That is what EA wants. They want to under deliver, make you even feel a little bit disappointed, but not make you leave the game so that when they over deliver and actually meet expectations during the team of the year with all the hype that is there, boom, you're back in, you're excited and you're ready for it. And they keep you on this up and down roller coaster of emotions because they have found for them that makes them a sell more packs and of course, draw more hype to the game and the content in general. So that's why when we see this all the time, like we said, we saw it with Winter Wild Cards and the World Cup content. We're seeing it again right now. And I'm not saying the Centurions promo is a massive L. We still have some pretty cool cards and we still have a team too with a lot of potential, right? Those Pogba, those Royce, those Latan 
hopes are still alive. We might even start to see some leaks for those today, tomorrow, um, if we get as we get closer to Centurion's team number two. So I'm not saying that it's all going to be dead from here until team of the year, but it's probably going to be a, a bit quiet because that's how EA like to do this stuff. And of course, since the content is getting a little bit quiet, the market crash has really kind of stopped, right? We were seeing prices go down a lot over the past two days. Of course, we talked about it in last night's video. Uh, the really big crash and the big biggest drop on prices we saw was on Monday, right? And Bop A from 800 down to 730. Yesterday, prices were basically flat. Not, not too much moved. Couple cards were panic sold. Couple cards bounced back. But a lot of the market was very stagnant. And Bop A only moved like between a 20,000 coin range all day from 760 to 780 because there really wasn't that much going on. And that could be said for most of the rest of the market. There was not that many price drop offs yesterday and not that many rebounds because the content was so stagnant. And that is what we talked about in yesterday's video as well, that there was a very high potential that we saw a big crash early in the week, right? Those big drops on Monday. But then if content was gonna be just mid throughout the rest of the week, prices would probably stay stagnant. And that's why it is still not the buy time, right? It is not the buy time yet because all of these prices, in my opinion, will still go lower. We haven't had that big of a drop, right? Griezmann was 6.30 on Saturday. He's only down to five, he's down 100K, but I think cards like this are still gonna go lower and there's still a whole nother level of panic that we haven't even gotten to yet because team of the year is not on the doorstep, right? And people haven't felt the need to get super crazy panicked about team of the year, like it's right on the doorstep. So we're still gonna see more panic selling, but I think it's not gonna take place until the weekend unless EA have a surprise up their sleeve, which you never know, they always could. So that's why I would be pretty adamant in saying like a lot of you guys have been asking me, Nate, when do I buy cards for my team? Is it time to buy since prices have dropped off? Not yet, right? This this team of the year market crash process takes a bit of time, right? The Neymar inform, yes, he's been pretty low, but he's back up a little bit now, right? He's 690k. Is this going to go lower before team of the year? Absolutely it is. So that sort of stuff I would be pumping the brakes on and uh, just waiting for. And, you know, as you're being careful with like uh, opening packs and as you're thinking towards team of the year, I would just keep that stuff in mind, right? Like, yes, be careful with what packs that you want to save versus which ones you want to open maybe to get them out of your club. Be careful with your fodder and what SBCs you're doing because this is also prime time when a lot of people have sold their teams like we had with the 88 plus icon pack. People sell their teams then they have coins and then they like, oh, I have some coins. I can go do the 88 plus icon upgrade or I can go do this SBC. So that's another thing that EA really try to do during these kind of down times is drop a couple cheeky SBCs here and there to drain your club of coins before these big promos. So that's kind of what's going on with the market. Pretty stagnant, but there's still opportunities for some trades, right? Yesterday, heading into the content drop, and this is what I would watch out for today on Wednesday as well. You can see cards that get panic sold and that bounce back. This Marco Senjo, I bought both of these at 158,000 coins. I bought this Sané at 229, um, and I bought this Ledley King at 190, right? Because I know that these cards, were, these cards were low, and this Ledley King has a lot of hype. So I was trading with rare cards and out of packs cards, or with very, very hype. But again. You have to just know that as a lot of people have started to sell cars and as the market's pretty stagnant, you have to be careful with the prices that you're trying to, the cards and the prices that you're trying to trade with, right? Wow, I got a lazy. Ledley King is 185. I'm going to pick that up because I literally sold mine at 210. But this guy's got all the hype, right? Because he's a brand new hero. Not that his stats are super insane, but people want to try him out. Just be careful with the cards you're trading with because there is still less and less demand for the market for people to buy cards basically every single day as we get closer and closer to team of the year as people are awaiting the big promo. So just be careful on the market right about this time. But what's going to shake it up before team of the year? Yes, we have Centurion's team too. We could see some leaks starting today, maybe tomorrow, about who could be in this promo. Yes, there could be more content that could shake up the market a little bit before team of the year. Still, I'm not saying it's going to be zero content until team of the year. And that's what I want to take a look at with player of the month, because we have not had player of the month SBCs 
in a hot minute, of course, right? The leagues have been on hold. They're just now coming back in the past two weeks after the World Cup has ended. And we've got some like November slash December combination player of the months to vote on. Now, not all the league player of the months are coming back out because some of the leagues have been paused and they haven't been back yet. But we've had some votings that have gone live, right? The Premier League voting is now closed. I believe this is going to be the first player of the month SBC that we'll see. Maybe Eredivisie. Sometimes that one's a surprise uh, that just kind of pops up. And I don't know. That one's a bit, you know, I guess confusing to me on how we vote for that or how that gets decided. It just seems like it automatically appears. I don't even know. But the Premier League Player of the Month SBC is usually one of the first ones that we get. The voting has been closed, and this is almost always dropped on the second Friday of every single month. So the voting is closed, which means the SBC is coming soon. I think this is coming this Friday with Centurions team number two. Casemiro, Holland, Odegaard, uh, Rashford, Saka. There's like some other Trippier in here. But really, I think it's between like some just two cards. If you take a look at the stats, I mean, I think it's between three actually. Odegaard, Holland, and Rashford. Between these three guys, I think one of them is going to win the player of the month. And if I had to give a guess, my guess would be Odegaard. So, uh, the one thing that we hope for with Player of the Months is also bigger upgrades. They weren't giving that big of upgrades earlier on in the year. It was just plus ones. But they said they were going to have the potential to upgrade Player of the Months to higher standards this year. Um, that was earlier in the year. So we just got a pretty big upgrade on Odegaard for his Team of the Week, number 10, which we're going to see a new Team of the Week today. We'll talk about that as well. But imagine EA give Odegaard like a double boost, which usually uh, if a card is below 90 rated, a player month will give them a, another plus two. Imagine Odegaard goes to a 90 or a 91 today. That could be a really, really good looking card giving this or sorry, not today, but this weekend when the SBC would hopefully drop if he wins. Right. This could be a really, really insane looking item. Almost probably too good uh if ea would give him a plus two or a plus three i would probably expect it to be an 89 or a 90 not to get your hopes up for anything super massive but these sbcs have hype and specifically one that was dropped yesterday the voting was pushed live for the league one player of the month between november and december between Kylian mbappe Siko fofana and benjamin burja i'm gonna i've been trying to say this guy's name it's a tough one right the the joke is you call him burger god because you know, that's just the joke. I mean, not to be offensive or disrespectful or anything, but I'm going to do my best shot here and say Burajah. Tell me in the comments if I'm right. But people are excited because anytime Mbappe or Neymar or Ben Yedder gets in the voting for League One Player of the Month, people get excited. Now, you look at the stats. Mbappe, two goals during the month or the combination of these two months. PSG won three games and lost one to Lens, right? Siko Fofana, a midfielder during the month, one goal, one assist. They won, I think they won three games as well, and they drew one game. So a little bit better than PSG. And then Burajad himself, three goals, zero assist. And um, Stad Rene had an okay month. Not an amazing one, but an okay month, but he has the most contributions. And that's what it comes down to a lot of the time with these player of the months is how many goal contributions you have and how well your team does. It's not necessarily the biggest name, right? So Mbappe's in this voting, but if I had to guess, I voted for Fofana just because I would love to see a Fofana card and he's a midfielder. I, this one is pretty up in the open, if I'm being honest, but I feel like Burajad is going to end up winning because he has more contributions and his team did do pretty well in the last co combination of these November and December months. But of course, people get excited about a player of the month Mbappe. And if we just kind of go down that road for a second and think about it, could Mbappe get a player of the month? And the answer is yes, absolutely. Because even though Mbappe is probably going to get into team of the year, and this player of the month SBC would most likely drop next week, right before, or maybe at the start of team of the year, he can still get an SBC. It's not impossible. If he's in team of the year, he could have a player of the month at the same time because player of the month and team of the year are two separately uh, decided things. Player of the month is not decided by EA. This is decided separately by the leagues. Yes, there is a little bit of our vote, right? Which kind of is like maybe EA has a say in it as well a little bit. And it's of course from the EA website. But in the end, all of this player of the month stuff is decided by like boards and, and groups of people that are kind of... Um, specific to the league that that player is playing in. So it is absolutely possible that Mbappe could have a player of the month and a team of the year out at the same time if he ends up winning this vote and winning this player of the month. So an Mbappe player of the month, what would it be rating wise? I think it would be a 93. 
Um, the only thing that's a bit tricky is this team, the tournament card is technically a performance based item, but it's not like an inform or a man of the match or anything like that. So would EA give Mbappe a 95 player of the month or would it be a 93? If I had to guess, I think they might end up doing a 93 just because you know, they could say, oh, his best performance based in card and in inform is 92 rated and they give it an upgrade on that. Um, but, you know, regardless of what the rating is, this Mbappe, let, just think about this for a second. Imagine going through team of the year, starting to open your packs and not that you pack a team of the year Mbappe. It's going to be incredibly hard to pack this card, of course. But if you had a player of the month Mbappe that you could craft and kind of, you know, like an icon SBC, craft all the squads with the fodder you're getting. That would be an incredible SBC to have live during team of the year. Uh, and then you'd have an Mbappe in your club at the end of team of the year. And if you packed him, well, then, you know, you're just <laughs> kind of out of luck. But who cares? You packed the team of the year version. So that's a really interesting scenario. So be careful believing that Mbappe is going to end up winning. But just kind of re rem remember that that's out there. And probably in the next, I would say... Eight days, nine days between now and next Friday, the start of team of the year, that League One Player of the Month should be announced in the game. I think Player of the Month are usually for League One released on Thursday. So maybe next Wednesday or Thursday, watch out for that. Either Fofana, Burejot, or Kylian Mbappe. That's huge. And it's cool to have Player of the Month returning because POTM SBCs in previous FIFAs, especially during team of the year, have been so fun to craft. I remember like a Van Dyke um, Player of the Month card or a couple of years ago. There, there's been some great um, player of the month cards uh, during team of the year to craft. So just watch out for those returning. I think there's some hype there. Now, that's enough talk about that. Let's talk about today on Wednesday. Of course, we do have a brand new team of the week coming today. I'm not expecting it to be a crazy day of content. Now, we do know this is the second team of the week since EA said they're going to be giving bigger boosts and having two featured players every single week. Now, what's interesting about this one is a lot of these games over the weekend were cup games, especially for the EFL cup games. A lot of these prem cards that are shown here in predictions, I think the, the predictors are going back to last week's late games that were in the league uh, to put some of these guys in. I don't know how team of the week is going to look today, guys. It might look woeful. It might be absolutely horrendous, but EA could also try to juice it up and try to put some cards in here like Harry Kane, maybe like, um, you know, Tonali could be pretty good. Felipe Anderson could be pretty good. Kunde would be nice. So this prediction looks pretty. I mean, pretty positive, but I also think it could look really, really bad. Now, one thing we see with Team of the Weeks is it's leaked like every single week, a couple hours before content, um, and Team of the Weeks anyway are just not that amazing. But with the bigger upgrades that they have been doing, of course, we saw last week's Team of the Week 10 have some pretty big boosts on it, uh, like the plus twos and a lot of these informs, like the Griezmann and Odegaard getting a plus two instead of a plus one. Keep an eye out for and see what they dropped today with the team of the week, but those new cards will be in packs today on this game. Will we see some SBC content is another question. We still have the Ryan Kent and the Tavernier leak that is out there. We have not seen those cards yet. Of course, yesterday was a pretty quiet day besides the Garcia SBC that we had, which I actually ended up doing that card. Um, and he was kind of fun to use, but also he's not that good, right? It was just a fun card to try out and it's really, really cheap. This card is worth doing, for the fodder. He scored some incredible goals for me with the 99 heading and the 97 jumping, but he is he's a truck, man. He is a big time truck, but he's got a nice right foot um, and they added some traits. So it's like a cool, cheap, kind of like if you have some extra 83s, put them in that SBC and then you can use them as 87 fodder at some point. But hopefully it's a bit better of a day than it was yesterday. I still think there's a little bit of a potential for another sort of like player pick or some sort of, uh, not icon, but a gamble pack today. Sometimes on these lower tier content weeks, right, as EA is trying to build uh, or trying to be a little underwhelming so they can build the hype for the next promo. Sometimes they do drop a couple extra gamble packs, like a player pick, a campaign player pick, year in review, stuff like that, uh, season in review type stuff, just so that they can drain some more coins off of the market. So if you're still holding fodder for that, I mean, 
definitely keep an eye on that today. That's a potential piece of content that we could see today. Now, speaking of fodder and the rest of the market a little bit more, I want to talk about this. Fodder is actually dropping a little bit right now uh, on the lower tier. 85s were what, 9.7K yesterday? We were looking at them on the video. They peaked at around 10K um, on Monday with the icon pack coming out. They are now dipping below 9,000 coins. But some of your higher tier fodder, like, you know, look at this uh, 80, 87 rated cards, the young. 21,000 coins on Monday. These guys, like, they went up to about 20K and they actually went a little bit higher yesterday, right? Your high tier fodder, I think people are crafting the Zidane, the Maldini, the Jarzino. People are working on those higher rated squads. So you've seen 87s, 88s, 89s kind of just slowly go up in the past day a little bit higher than where they were on Monday. But your lower tier fodder, specifically the 85s, have definitely dropped down in price. It's going to take another SBC today to make those go up even further. But regardless, I still think if you have fodder, I would want to sell it here pretty soon. As usually, fodder starts to drop off as we head towards the weekend. More tradable supply, lightning rounds, weekend league rewards, all that good stuff. So be careful with fodder. You're hoping for some sort of SBC content today. And then, of course, like we said on the market, you saw me buy that Ledley King card, right? I'm going to be trading with any cards today that I believe are just hyped for whatever reason like this ledley king brand new card people are trying it out it fluctuates a ton in price he's still pretty rare keep your trades to um i wouldn't say a minimum but just be careful with your trades there are fluctuations on the market for sure but what you have to see if you're going to trade with the card in the way this market is you're going to have to see some panic selling and i wouldn't still hold it for that long because again guys i really do believe wow did i sell essential too early Senjo was 172. Okay, so pretty rare though. I sold him at 172. He's between 172 and 178. Like, there are still cards that have movements on the market, but just beware. There is a lot more crashing to come. There are a lot more prices that are going to be dropping. So keep that in mind and keep it to the quick flips with a lot of these cards because you can make coins, but it is getting a little bit risky the closer and closer we get to Team of the Year starting so there's a lot probably going on with this game uh, in the next couple days and especially in the next week but let me know your some of your team of the year votes check out my vote on twitter uh that link is in the description of course uh and drop some of those in the comments maybe even a link to your vote if you want to do that I'll, I'll click through the comments and and take a look at some of those really interested to see who you guys are voting for and kind of what you're looking forward to in the team of the year promo but it's getting closer guys it's just not here yet so hopefully ea can you know pass us by a few centurions with at least a little bit of hype and a couple of cool cars and maybe some good content today so if you enjoyed today's video smash thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new see you guys in the stream today have a good wednesday it's been nathan account i'll catch you guys later peace out